Nochne, warriors, and welcome to another episode in the Iconium War called Butterfly. The research teams in the Kiana system require your assistance. They have been running thousands of temporal incursion simulations of how to use the Krenim weapon. But I need an officer with field experience to evaluate the project and its feasibility. You will participate in a focus test of the most promising options. A blade cuts both ways. We must be sure that what this weapon can do to the Iconians does not cause greater harm to us. Very well. The war continues. Welcome. We have been working with the Krenim to build both this facility and a weapon similar to the one developed by Anorax in the 22nd century. Captain Nog is running point for the Alliance, but teams from all across the Alpha and Beta Quadrants are involved with the research. It's fascinating work, but there's a lot to do yet. How can I help? Captain Nog might be able to explain more. He's waiting for you. Lead the way. I wish I was seeing you under better circumstances. We've managed to make a prototype of the Krenim weapon in Anorax's records, but we have not attempted to use it yet. Time isn't something you mess around with, so we have been conducting simulations here of possible incursions, as well as developing new ways to protect and store data on various timelines. Do you have any idea on when to make a temporal incursion? We've tried a different number of scenarios, but only in the hollow deck. Direct action against the Iconians is proving to be problematic because so much time has passed since they were first a great power. Incursions that far back in time must be carefully planned or the fallout of even minor changes can ripple across reality. We have, however, seen some promise in trying to delay their arrival. That's just delaying the inevitable for a few years. Actually, it would be closer to a 700 year delay if our calculations are correct. The Iconians have had 200,000 years to build their fleets, but we're catching up to them. We've already seen what the 29th century technology can do. Imagine what we'll have in the 32nd century. So we'll be on more equal footing. Exactly. The other potential solution is to cut into their current power base. What if the Iconians never allied with the Alachi or the Solonet? We wouldn't be facing the trouble we do now. What are your best scenarios? The three most promising incursions each follow one of these tactics. My teams have been running simulations and refining their targets, but I'd like you to assist them using a special quantum recursive algorithm. Our simulators can run the outcome of a possible incursion on the holodeck. Interacting with that simulation will give us more data than just crunching the numbers. We need to really interact with it to see what reality would look like. And for that, I need someone like you with field experience. I'm not sure about changing time, but simulations can't hurt. Hello. Please allow me to explain what we're doing here. We've determined that if we remove a specific series of stars from the Beta Quadrant in the distant past, a rogue planet will enter the Iconia system and cause massive geological damage at about the same time the planet was bombarded by the Iconian's enemies. The technological buildup of the orbital bombardment that destroyed the Iconian civilization will still happen, but the Iconians themselves will have to deal with a natural disaster, not a war. And you think that's better than war? Maybe the survivors of a natural disaster, if there are any, won't be so vengeful. And none of the stars we will remove have planets with the possibility of developing life. The overall effect on the galaxy is minimal. It's a painful path. But it could be the one that leads to peace. I don't know if I like the idea of removing entire stars. The number of stars we will have to remove is a concern. Which is why we're trying this in a simulation first. But as Captain Nog said, these simulations aren't perfect. So we have devised a holodeck program that will expand and extrapolate on possible effects of the temporal incursion. You're giving a lot of weight to the holodeck. It's the best option we have available to us. 
The holodex algorithms have been updated to change and adapt to the data created by the simulated timeline alteration. This is not your average hollow novel. Very well, what do you need me to do? Once we run the program, you'll be able to interact with our best approximation of the new timeline. Interaction with the holodeck components will allow the program to generate a more in-depth solution and give us a better idea of what to expect. We have set this simulation on a Federation starship patrolling the Sol system, and you are the captain. If all goes as planned, we expect that almost everything in the system should be close to current reality. Understood. I'll run the program. the intruders on the bridge but the ship has taken heavy damage and a lot of the crew are injured what's the situation sir i'm not sure this is the time so many people are hurt and most of the systems are offline the life support is on backups and our resources are down to nothing and i'll help the wound but you have to help me what happened the dominion stopped firing at us when we lost weapons now they're focusing on earth's defense grid but it's only a matter of time before they return to finish us off we'll stabilize the crew and fight back this isn't over I tried to fight them off, but the boarding parties, the Jem'Hadar, we have to stop the Dominion, they can't take Earth too. Don't worry, we'll stop them. I never expected they would get so far into our defenses. I'm sorry, Captain. I just need a moment. Then I'll be ready to fight. Whenever you're ready. We can't stop them. Maybe if we hadn't been at war with the Romulans. Maybe if the Klingons hadn't ripped themselves apart. I'll... I'll be fine, Captain. Just run it. Go to sick bay if you need to. Incoming hail! USS Ajax. Sensors show your ship is completely defenseless. And I would prefer not to delay our arrival at Earth to deal with such a minor annoyance. Surrender now, and I will guarantee the safety of your crew. We will never surrender. Sorry, we were watching from the control room, and that could have gone better. Even with all that, the simulation data on whether the Iconians were entirely eliminated from that timeline is inconclusive. We were able to record your interactions, and we've been able to piece together what happened from those. What did you find? From what we can piece together, the Klingon Empire was never unified by its conflicts against outsiders, and the Great Houses turned on one another instead. The Romulans took the chaos as an opportunity to attack. The Federation stepped in to help the Klingons, and the war between the three factions basically ripped the Quadrant apart. The Dominion then conquered all three weakened powers. That's not our solution. Agreed. My team will continue working on other possible incursion scenarios. Perhaps we can weaken their power base. Another one of you voyagers? I don't know how you can help, but very well. My team is working on scenarios that reduce the Iconian power base. We are attempting to do so by fixing a mistake that Janeway allowed to happen decades ago. We are going to stop the Vodwar from being rediscovered. We plan to do this by preventing Voyager from ever coming into contact with Underspace. This will prevent them from finding Vodwar Prime. And Seven of Nine will never wake the Vaudoir. I don't know what you mean by Voyager. I never served on that ship. No, but you're all the same. You come to our quadrant 
meddle in affairs that don't concern you and that you don't understand and leave chaos in your wake. Now you want us to help you alter time. Tell me, does that sound like something someone like you should be doing? Not sure the power should be in your hands either. None of us are going to survive if we don't try to repair the damage you've already done. The goal is to cause a solar flare that will force Voyager to divert from the course it was on when it stumbled into underspace. If it safely passes without entering underspace, it can continue on its trip home and bypass the Vaudoir entirely. I suppose that might work. The simulation is set for the USS Voyager. Which is fitting, since they caused the problem in the first place. Our projections show that even if the Vaudoir never return, your people will still find a reason to stick your noses into our business. So, we're attempting to see how the elimination of the Vaudoir will change the formation of the Delta Alliance. You will be a member of the diplomatic team. I'll run the program. Don't mind noise. I think he partially blames people from your quadrant for some of the Krennin's troubles. After all, if Voyager hadn't restored the Vod War, they would have never been in a position to ally with the Iconians. But there is no reason to dwell on past hurts. We're trying to fix what we can here, and then learn to accept the rest. Noi funnels that passion to help his people into his work. Perhaps it will change everything. Thank you for your honesty. It is a pleasure to meet you. Both Captain Nog and Seven speak highly of you. Goodbye. This is an absolute disaster. I had thought that Admiral Tuvok was being pessimistic about the chance for success here. But now, I think he was right. Alliance making isn't a quick progress. No, it's not. The hierarchy started setting these people against one another before Admiral Tuvok and his team could start to pull them together. The very fact that they all agreed to be in the same room is a minor miracle. Do you think you can bring them together? Eventually. Between Vulcan logic, Klingon tenacity, and Romulan pragmatism, we'll convince everyone here that the threat is real and an alliance is in their best interest. But it won't be easy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see I have another argument to break up. Good luck, Ambassador. We've always tried to be good neighbors and treat other races with respect, but this is really too much. The Malon are using our system as a dump, and their trash isn't our problem. Malon are the biggest danger to your people. The Malon might not be the biggest threat, but they are the most immediate. Wait until they start dumping their trash in your front yard and see how you like it. Keep talking to the Malon. Perhaps you can find a compromise. Are you here to preach about responsible waste management too? You can save it. I have a commitment to my people and my planet that supersedes any other concerns. Maybe there's somewhere else you can dump your waste without harming others. We don't need outsiders telling us what to do. If the Talaxians want to talk, they can come to us directly. Let me see if there's another way to get you interested in joining this conversation. waste management practices and continue dumping waste throughout the quadrant. The most at-risk populations are the Talaxians, who have a new colony close to Malon dumping grounds. The Malon have moved into Talaxian space to avoid hierarchy attacks. Diplomatic relations between the Malon and Talaxians are rapidly deteriorating. The Malon have accused the Talaxians of working with the hierarchy, a charge the Talaxians strenuously deny. Analysis. The Benthans could possibly pressure the Malon to return to the negotiation table. Yes, what is your question? I am rather busy. The Hazari are stepping up their smuggling operations, and the hierarchy's new drive for profits has created a significant increase in attacks on unaligned transports. Sorry to trouble you, I'll talk to the Hazari. Good luck with that. The Hazari aren't interested in anything but making deals. 
This whole meeting is just a waste of time. Unity might work where you come from, but I don't have any reason to cooperate with criminals like the Hazari or thugs like the Hierarchy. Maybe I can convince them differently. What do you want? Did the Benthans make you one of their little deputies? Or was it the Malon? Before everyone broke ties with the Hierarchy, they told us what people say about us. Mercenaries. Honorless. Ha! They all deny it. But we know. Now we look out for ourselves. If that's how you think, I guess we're done. Fine. Run back to the Benthans. I'll be here if you want to talk business. Sorry, I'm not in the market for mercenaries. <sighs> Unraveling this mess could take months. Years. You're the right man for this job, Ambassador. The Iconians were so determined to have a hold here that they simply found another species to fit the bill. Maybe if you had been a better negotiator, you would have been able to unite those representatives against the hierarchy. Then at least we would have had a chance. And maybe we wouldn't. This scenario isn't as catastrophic as trying to remove the Iconians, but it's not exactly ideal either. We'll have to try something else. Yes, this isn't going to work. You must excuse my husband's harsh demeanor. This has been a very trying time for the Krenim. Thank you for helping us get this far. We'll keep working. Thank you, Clauda. Trust my wife to be the voice of reason. Perhaps I was too hard on you. I... I just want to be able to fix all of this. We can't turn back time. But we can change it. Please speak to Gamma Team. Captain Nog thinks very highly of their plan. Thank you. I'll go speak to them. Hello. We've been waiting for you. Our team is focusing on delaying tactics. What if Iconia had never been discovered? In 2365, Captain Donald Barley of the USS Yamato found a star chart on Denias III that revealed the location of Iconia. I want to redirect a meteor to impact the archaeological site on Denias III before Captain Varley begins his excavations. Iconia will remain a myth, and we will not attract the Iconians' attention as early as we did. But that's just a delay, and other gateway was found a few years later. True, but if you compare the changes in Iconian technology over the past 200,000 years with what the rest of us have done in the past two centuries, it's obvious that the Iconian culture has stagnated while we have advanced rapidly. Additionally, there are other factors in play that could trigger the alliances and sharing of technology that have come about because of the Iconian threat. It's a risk, but it's one that could pay off. I see why you're trying this on a holodeck first. The program is set for Romulan space. Because the Hobus supernova was caused by direct Iconian interference, we expect Romulus to be intact in this new reality. As such, the Romulan Star Empire should once again be a major power in the Quadrant. Your role will be as an officer on a Romulan warbird. Understood. I'll run the program. Sub-Commander, I'd like to test out some new security passcodes, if you would be so kind as to seal the doors and disable certain, uh, equipment. We need to talk. Understood, Commander. Thank you for playing along, Sub-Commander. The Tal Shiar can't hear us now. I need to talk to you about Datan and the Separatists. They've been located near the Dewa system. 
what we do next could change our future. You're not asking if we should attack them, are you? If I was, I wouldn't have needed you to lock the door. I intend to put Lieutenant Silan in the brig and then take this ship and crew to join the Separatists. Are you with me? If we do this, we'll be traitors to the Empire. I know. I have tried to work within the system, but the system is broken and corrupt. Ditan and his people are building something better. You and I both know it. The crew knows it. We will take this warbird to Ditan, and we will finally be free. We'll do what is best for our people. Secret conversations between the commander and one of his senior officers? Very suspicious. Loyal citizens of the Romulan Star Empire have no need for locked doors. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to accompany the security team to the brig. Tamer, you are a fool, and you will be the death of everyone on this ship. Datan and his people are terrorists. If you join them, you will share their fate. You are under arrest. Please comply and you will not be harmed. My friends, it is time we forge our own destiny. A destiny free from the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. If we leave, we will have a better, brighter future than what they would allow us. I know it is a step into the unknown, but it is a step we will take together. Throw off your chains. We will join our brothers and sisters in freedom. I wanted to let you know that I am with you and Commander Tamer. Some of my family has left Romulus to join Titan. I'll be proud to join them. Set a course for the Daywa system. That is the most promising simulation yet. It appears there was some merit to our hypothesis that the Iconians advanced their plans due to early contact. But it's not perfect by any means. The readings do indicate higher levels of Borg activity, but it should be an acceptable risk. Do you think this could be our solution? The data in this simulation does show higher Borg activity than we're currently seeing, but there are no signs of Herald, Iconian, or Solonet presence at all. And while the Romulan Star Empire is restored to their former power, there is a democratic Romulan group opposing the Tal Shiar. And more importantly, Romulus is intact. This is the result many of our Romulan researchers have been trying to bring about. But this isn't our reality. We'll be significantly altering everything we know. The political calculus of the Quadrant will change, but the data supports what you saw on the holodeck. No Iconians. We have solid projections. The only suggestion I have now is that you consider it in conjunction with Captain Nog and the Republic representatives here. I'll discuss it with them, but I'm not making any promises. This last test has the most promising results I've seen, and saving the Romulan homeworld is an added bonus. We're not going to have a lot of shots at this. I've been looking at Anorex's work, and I think it's too easy to get into a temporal loop where you try again and again for a specific result, and time starts fighting back. I'm inclined to say this is our best chance. But this will have a huge impact on the reality we know, especially your people, Commander Jirak. I won't give my authorization without hearing from everyone. We can't move forward without considering the effect on the Republic, Commander Jirak. This is difficult. It would change everything for us. We'd have our home back, but the Republic, everything we've built, it would all be gone. But there's still hope. Even in this other reality, Datan has led many Romulans away from Sela and her tall Shi'ar thugs. This impacts the Republic most of all. The simulation specifically mentioned Datan and a separatist movement. 
Commander Tamer makes the choice to join Datan, the same choice he made after the homeworld was lost. With Romulus, we could have numbers. More people who have had enough of the Tal Shiar's oppression could join us. Maybe millions more. If Datan is able to get a movement going, even at the height of the Empire's power, I have to believe that change is possible. What do you think we should do? Make the incursion. The lives we save will be worth the work we'll have to do to reform the Republic. The Tal Shiar wasn't able to stop us the first time. They won't stop us again. If the Roman Republic is worth the risk, we should try it then. Sir, we've been informed of the set and the Krenon vessel will be traveling with us to the site of the temporal incursion. The Krenon vessel has a weapon on board and Lisette will provide additional security and manpower if needed. Understood. Anything else? With all three vessels, we'll be temporarily shielded to protect us from the changes in the timeline. As long as the shielding holds, we'll be able to observe the changes and, and even interact with them. We will not be part of the new timeline. Captain Nog says temporal shield generators can be damaged. We need to be careful. We can beam you up to the Mizunik styles as soon as you're ready. Prepare for imminent departure. Some Borg activity, but this can't be right. What happened? I agree that this is unexpected, Commander, but we knew there would be anomalies. <laughs> we need more information. Let's find out where the simulation might have gone wrong. Stay on the edge of the system. Jarak and I will move in for sensor sweeps. The last thing we need is the Borg assimilating the Kretum's weapon. The whole system can't be assimilated, can it? That is a lot of Borg. Agreed. Borg ships decloaking. Red alert. Great, the Borg have cloaks now. Shields up. First the Klingons, now the Borg. Does everyone steal cloaking technology from us?
we can fix this. I'll keep the Kratom ship well out of Borg's sensor range while you go in and find out what happened. Hurry, more Borg will be arriving soon. Won't we be affected by the timeline shift once we leave the ship? I've modified some personal shield generators to shield you temporally as well. I'm transporting them over now. Hurry, the temporal shielding drains a lot of power. You won't have much time down there before you're unprotected. If that happens, this will be your new reality. Understood, we'll get the data. We have the temporal shields for the weight team, sir, and Claudia says she's concerned about the weapon. We'll probably have one more shot before the capacitors burn out. We need to get this right now to get the to back to the timeline that's not overrun by Borg. Sensors are detecting a mainframe that should have the data you need. It'll set our main to protect the Kratom ship while you and Commander Jurok beam down to gather information. Ready for transport. We'll find the data. I'm going to join you. I know this place, or at least I knew this place. Before we lost the homeworld, it was a Tal Shar complex. Most of the secrets of our empire were stored here. I thought I was getting my home back, but now the Borg have taken it all away. This is like losing Romulus all over again. I'll do what I can to help, Commander. The controls ahead of us will unlock the bulkheads. The whole planet. All our people. Believe we were so wrong. Cover me. I'll override the door controls. We have to find a way to make this right. node console we need locked we'll have to circumvent their security measures wait incoming board
we lost the home world. I thought that was the worst thing that could happen to us. This was Romulan technology once, but it's been completely assimilated. Akiv? You will become one with the Borg. Resistance is futile. It looks like the main invasion of Romulan space occurred about 20 years ago. Something happened in the Delta Quadrant. The Borg assimilated something that greatly improved their technology. They adapted, evolved, and my people, they didn't have a chance. Maybe it's our fate to lose Romulus. All we can do now is try to restore the previous timeline. Maybe this will help. Report signatures on approach. You need to get out of there, sir. Beam us up. Understood. More Borg on the way. Borg decloaking. I need the data now. Focus on your repairs. We will make sure the data is preserved. Data is compressed and ready. Communications array is ready. Secure channel confirmed. Targeting the transwarp network. Fire in 
the weapon! Now! are gone, but so is Romulus. Romulus isn't the only thing we lost. Temporal shielding is failing. What happened? The Borg did too much damage to the generators. If we lose the temporal shielding, we'll all reintegrate with the timeline. Has anything else changed? Checking? No. The Tretarians, they're what? gone. How? I see the problem. Twenty years ago, your people tried to replicate the work of the Solene to protect In themselves this timeline, from the Borg. They failed. Temporal shield is at eight percent. No, I need to restabilize the shield. I'm downloading my personal files into the shielded core. You'll have all my research notes and everything we've recorded from this mission. You're giving up? When the shield fails. If the Tutarians were lost in the past, then you would be lost, too. Temporal shield is losing integrity. Is there anything we can do? No, we all knew the risks. I love you. There has been a development captain, Captain Nog, Commander Drock, and Kratom researchers waiting for you in the conference room to go over their findings. I'll meet them there. We found a temporally shielded computer core, and it shows two uses of the Kratom weapon. But as far as I know, the Iconians are still out there. We changed the timeline, but we didn't fix our most important problem. What was in the core? We haven't dug that far into the data yet, and it will take some in-depth investigation to catalog all of the changes. Noi is going to lead the group taking care of that. I will say it is uh, odd to find personal logs I don't remember making. I imagine that will be strange. Very. But from what we've already seen, it appears the reason the weapon was fired twice was because we had to try to correct a change we made. Technology like this seems so simple, but even the smallest change can make more trouble than it solves. We have to be more cautious. Far more cautious than we've already been, I suppose. The next mistake might not be fixable. Time alteration might not be the answer. There are some problems that can't be solved with a weapon. But time travel... <sighs> Look, whatever happens, it was good working with you. I hope we have the chance to do so in the future. Good working with you too, Captain. I have a lot of information to analyze. The shielded core appears to have made it through the process intact and will give us a wealth of data on the timeline and how the changes have affected it. Clearly, you made a mistake somewhere. I still feel this is the best technology available to us but we will need minds sufficient to the task to operate it. Goodbye. We've put so much hope into using the Krenum technology to solve our problems. Perhaps I was caught up in the possibilities and blind to the potential for disaster. We tried and we failed. But this isn't the end. We'll keep looking at the simulations as well as any other option open to us. I have to have faith that we will find a way to defeat the Iconians. We'll discover what happened and then move on from there. That's all we can do. I was conducting another simulation, and all of a sudden I got an emergency call telling me to stop everything. I will be looking at whatever data we managed to save to try and determine what went wrong. Maybe we can try again after we know more. I hope we find something we can't afford another incident like that. It has been good to have you here. But we will have to consider if time alteration is really the best course of action. Of all the records we have of time travel, few have as drastic a result as this. Perhaps removing elements from the time stream isn't the solution we need. Goodbye.
You see, in Research Development Lab, we have one last time loop to close. Ah, yes. I forgot about this character. I'm glad I caught you, sir. The Temporal Intelligence Department has determined that now is the point where you travel back to speak to yourself. I have been authorized to oversee the process. Are you properly prepared? Let's get this over with. This is the point we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You already heard yourself say it. It does not matter if it's not exactly right. The time stream will not be damaged. Just make sure that you give yourself this. It is our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs your blade, Dahar Master. Are you prepared? I am. Quapla! You are alive! We generally abhor predestination paradoxes like this, but this one was worth the risk. We will make an exception this time. Sir, so concerned about using time travel to solve the Iconian solution situation, but this is one of the all. But this, but it, wow! But it is one of the only options we have that they don't. I hope the Alliance decides what to do. We don't end up in a worse situation. We're already in. Are you ready to be back to Miss Unique Styles? Yes, I am. Captain Nog tells me that the initial test of the Krinim weapon was less than promising. He says that he and his team have a great deal of data still to analyze. But I do not believe they will find much that will assist us. Removing elements from the time stream is reckless, and while our options are limited, we should not destroy ourselves in a fruitless effort to destroy the Iconians. It is time to consider all of our alternatives. Understood. Continues. And thank you, warriors, for watching, and we will see you again soon.